Okay, welcome to uh, Space War Part 1, Getting Started. Uh, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating here to, uh, today. We're going to be using the Python Turtle module and some Python classes to create a very simple uh, video game, uh, kind of old style video game. So let's take a look at what the finished product will look like uh, once we get through all the tutorials. So you are the player in the middle. You can move forward and your job is to shoot the red enemies. Okay, you get 100 points when you do that. And you want to avoid shooting the blue enemies because they are your allies. Okay, and if I run into one, I lose some points and a little explosion there and I lose a life. And once I run into three, two. Okay, it's game over and ask, would you like to play again? So, we're going to close that. So, let's get started. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to be using the uh, turtle module. So, I'm going to need to import a few things here. So, I'm going to be using import OS. Uh, we'll be using that later. Uh, import random, which is usually very important in video games. And I'm going to import the turtle module. And now, again, if you're using uh, Python 3 or above, the capitalization will be a bit different, but I'm using Python 2.7. And I'm going to be adding a couple things here. Um, so I need to do turtle fd0. On a Mac, this will create the actual screen where the turtle will appear. If you don't do that, it doesn't pop up. It's a little Mac thing. So your computer may not need it. Um, turtle.speed. Okay, this is a turtle method that can controls the speed of the animation. Zero actually means to not animate and just means to just draw it as instantly or as fast as possible. It doesn't actually mean the movement speed, it means the speed of the animation. And so we want to make sure that is set to zero, which is the maximum speed. Uh, we want to change the background color. I'll be putting an image in later, but for now we want the background color to be black because it's a kind of a space-based game. And when we start the turtle module, which I'll go ahead and show you real quick. So I'm going to delay equals raw input, press enter to finish. If we don't do that, it will just, you know, the, the turtle window will just disappear. So I'm going to run that, and this is what we have so far. Okay, so we got our little turtle window, and basically, there is actually a little turtle here that starts up, but because it's black, we don't see it. Um, so we'll close that. Uh, but we just want to make sure that turtle is hidden. So HT means hide turtle. A um, couple little things we want to do here. Turtle dot set undo buffer. Uh, this is a turtle thing, and it basically limits the amount of memory that the turtle module uses. Usually, what you can do is you can undo uh, turtle actions, but what happens is it just builds up so much in the memory it starts to slow down the program. And we also want to use something called turtle.tracer. And this speeds up the animation. And uh, as our program goes along, we're going to change this number a little bit. As you, you'll see it starts to slow down. Uh, but let's just start with 1, because that's, that's the default. And then we'll talk more about that later. Okay. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at you know, game programming. So the objects on the screen uh, are called sprites. Now, we don't really have sprites. But we do have turtles, which kind of act like sprites. So what we want to do is we're going to create a sprite class. And this will define the objects in our game, at least the basics of them. Now, as I mentioned, this is going to be based on the turtle class. So we're going to inherit from the turtle class, which is part of the turtle module. And if you don't know a lot about classes, um, it'll become a bit more clear as we work through this tutorial. But uh, just for now, just what we're doing is we're making a sprite class, and we'll create some instances of that class later. And uh, it inherits everything from the turtle module, the turtle.turtle class. So what that means in practice is for sprites, we can use all the turtle methods. So FD for forward, LT for uh, left, RT for right, etc., etc. Okay, so when we create a class, we need to define its constructor which is underscore, underscore, I-N-I-T, underscore, underscore. And because it's a class, we always use self. And what, we're going to be sending four values to this. So sprite shape, so what do we want the shape to look like? What color do we want it to be? 
And where do we want it to start? So starting point X on the screen, starting point Y on the screen. Again, as it is a child class, we need to do turtle dot turtle, which is the same as here, and init again. And we need to send self, and we're gonna send shape equals sprite shape. That's all we need for now. Okay. So now again, this, this constructor we don't see because it's part of the turtle module, but it's there somewhere. And now, it's a couple things we want to set for all of our sprites in our game. So every sprite in our game, set the speed to zero. Again, this is not the speed it moves. This is the speed of animation. And zero is the fastest. Um, self dot pen up. Okay. So we don't want our sprites drawing anything on the screen. Uh, self dot color. So the color is whatever we define here. Um, self dot fd zero just to make sure it's on the screen. Probably don't need that one though. And self dot go to. Now this is a method from the turtle class. So we're going to move it to the starting point. And just as a default, I want to set my speed to zero. So all the sprites, much let's make them one. So all the sprites when we start the game will have these attributes. Their speed, now this speed and this speed are different. This is a, a method. This is the animation speed. No pen, whatever color we give it, um, forward, zero, so it just appears. Again, might not need that on your platform. And go to wherever we define our start X and start Y, and I'll have a speed. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to create my sprites. And so I'm going to create a player. And I'm going to call it, a, it is a sprite. And our player is going to be sprite shape, because self is the player. Okay. Sprite shape, I'm going to use triangle. The color is going to be white. And start x, we'll start it at 0, 0, right in the center of the screen. Okay. So let's save that, run it, see what happens. OK, so there is our player. It is a white triangle, and it is exactly in the center of the screen. Okay, so that's that. And so now, basically, what we've done so far is we have created our screen. And so this is required by Mac OS to show the window. If you don't do that, it doesn't pop up. So set the animation speed. Speed to the maximum. Change the background color. Um, again, this is hide the default turtle. When you create a turtle window, there is a default turtle that is created. We're going to hide that because we don't need it. Uh, this saves memory. This saves memory. And Oops. This speeds up drawing. Actually, this doesn't speed up the drawing, but it will later when we change the number from one to something else. And I'll explain that at that time. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of our basic program. Uh, we've got our basic sprite class defined. It is a child class of the turtle class. And we set the shape, the color, starting point, and for all of our turtles, we want their, or for all of our sprites, we want their animation speed to zero, no pen, whatever color we chose, and using the forward thing just to make sure it appears. Uh, we probably don't actually need that again. And then move it to the starting points and set its speed to one. And let's stop there and we'll move on to part two.